हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर बायोलॉजी टीचर मीनाक्षी स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आर डिस्कशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टू लाइफ प्रोसेसेस इन डिटेल नंबर वन न्यूट्रिशन एंड नंबर टू रेस्पिरेशन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी वुड लर्न अबाउट द थर्ड लाइफ प्रोसेस दैट इज transportation and to be specific transportation in plants students we have already learned in our class 9th that plants have specialized vascular tissue for transportation and these two specialized vascular tissues are xylem and phloem both xylem and phloem are complex permanent tissues as they are made up of more than one type of cells xylem has four different type of cells xylem vessels xylem tracheids xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers out of these four cells xylem vessels are dead cells tracheids are dead cells and fibers are dead cells only the xylem parenchyma are the living cells in the same way phloem is also made up of four type of cells that is sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers in phloem sieve tubes are the living cells companion cells are the living cells phloem parenchyma are the living cells only the phloem fibers are the dead cells when we talk about xylem in xylem xylem vessels and xylem tracheids are mainly concerned with the transportation of water and minerals from roots to upper parts of the plant body whereas in case of phloem specifically sieve tubes and companion cells are concerned with the transportation of food and other substances from leaves and storage organs to other parts of the plant body when we talk about the transportation in xylem students the transportation in xylem is unidirectional it means the flow of water and minerals take place only in one direction that is from roots to upper parts of the plant body whereas transportation in phloem is bidirectional which means the flow of materials in phloem can take place in upward direction or in downward direction the transportation through xylem is an passive transport passive transport as we have already studied in class 9th is the type of transport in which no energy is spent in the form of atps whereas the transportation through phloem is an active transport which means energy is spent for the transportation of substances through phloem the transportation through xylem is called ascent of sap whereas the transportation through phloem is called translocation now we shall be discussing the mechanisms of ascent of sap and translocation in detail one by one ascent of sap as i have already told you is the transportation of water and minerals through xylem tissue and it has two mechanisms number 1 transpiration pull that is the main mechanism operating during the day time and the second mechanism is root pressure which is the prominent mechanism at night now let us understand 
how does it take place number 1 transpiration pull i would like like to explain this concept to you students by taking an example of drinking a liquid with the help of a straw when we or low pressure area a suction pull is created in the upward direction inside the straw again i would like to repeat that when the air is sucked out of the straw a low pressure area or partial vacuum is created in the straw which creates a suction pull in the upward direction in the straw because of this suction pull the liquid starts to rise up in the straw the same concept or the same principle operates in plants students as we know that tracheids and vessels form a continuous column from roots to upper part of the plant body as the cells are placed one above the other now because of transpiration from the upper parts of the plant body a low pressure area is created in the xylem vessels and xylem tracheids this low pressure area or partial vacuum exerts a suction pull in the upward direction which enables the water to rise up in the xylem vessels and xylem tracheids now since this suction pull is created because of transpiration that is why this mechanism is called transpiration pull the second mechanism root pressure which is operational at night is nothing but the simple process of osmosis students as we know that in the roots the root hair are in direct contact with the soil particles and the soil particles have trapped in between them very thin films of water now because of osmosis the water moves from the soil into the root hair from root hair to the adjacent cells and ultimately it goes and joins up the root xylem this is called root pressure so these are the two mechanisms of ascent of sap that is transportation it goes and joins up the root xylem this is called root pressure so these are the two mechanisms of ascent of sap that is transportation through xylem now next is translocation translocation is the transportation of food and other substances through phloem now in the phloem as i have already told you mainly two type of cells that is sieve tubes and companion cells are concerned with the transportation of material and from the class 9th we know the detailed structure of this tissue that sieve tubes have the end walls that are perforated it means they have pores in between them and these end walls are called sieve plates because of which the material can move from one cell to the other cell as these cells are placed one above the other forming a continuous column what is the mechanism now as just now i have told you that transportation through xylem is an active transport so let's understand how it take place first of all using atps certain ions like potassium ions sodium ions etc move into the phloem tissue this is the first step in translocation that ions move into the phloem tissue by the usage of atp that is why it is an active transport now as the ions move 
into the phloem tissue what will happen it will increase the solute concentration in the phloem and because of the increased solute concentration the water will move into the phloem tissue due to the process of osmosis now when the water moves into the phloem tissue the substance that are to be transported will get dissolved in water it will form an aqueous solution and then these substances from where their concentration is high will start moving to the parts where it is required and its concentration is less in the next video we shall be discussing in detail about transportation in animals thank you very much it goes and joins up the root xylem this is called root pressure so these are the two mechanisms of ascent of sap that is transportation through xylem now next is translocation translocation is the transportation of food and other substances through phloem now in the phloem as i have already told you mainly two type of cells that is sieve tubes and companion cells are concerned with the transportation of material and from the class 9th we know the detailed structure of this tissue that sieve tubes have the end walls that are perforated it means they have pores in between them and these end walls are called sieve plates because of which the material can move from one cell to the other cell as these cells are placed one above the other forming a continuous column what is the mechanism now as just now i have told you that transportation through xylem is an active transport so let's understand how it take place first of all using atps certain ions like potassium ions sodium ions etc move into the phloem tissue this is the first step in translocation that ions move into the phloem tissue by the usage of atp that is why it is an active transport now as the ions move into the phloem tissue what will happen it will increase the solute concentration in the phloem and because of the increase solute concentration the water will move into the phloem tissue due to the process of osmosis now when the water moves into the phloem tissue the substance that are to be transported will get dissolved in water it will form an aqueous solution and then these substances from where their concentration is high will start moving to the parts where it is required and its concentration is less in the next video we shall be discussing in detail about transportation in animals thank you very much